welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Majid Sultan Al Mesma, who is chairman of the Plenipotentiary Conference 2018. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, Mr. Almazma, this ITU Plenipotentiary Conference is providing an opportunity to address current and future ICT trends. Which topics have been at the forefront of discussions here? First, let me um, say how proud we are here in the UAE to host the PP18 in the United Arab Emirates, and especially in Dubai. As you know, Dubai has held uh, several major ITU uh, event uh, in the past and um, I would like also to welcome all the participants who come from all over the world to a place where it is built on inclusivity, on uh, coexistence, tolerance. That's how my country is built in uh, uh, and we've got over 200 nationality living here. So I'm sure uh, the participant will have a good time. They will not uh, feel uh, homesick, I hope so. Um, coming to your question, what makes PP different than the past ones? It's the integration of the sustainable development goals and its strategic uh, plan. And the sustainable development goals those 17 goals, if they are get implemented, they will make a big difference when it comes to bridging the uh, digital divide, uh, gender balance, inclusivity. To do that, you need to look at the main enabler, and the main enabler is ICT. It, it's the best driver for uh, achieving and accelerating, not only achieving, accelerating even the achievement of uh, the sustainable development. If that happens, uh, it will positively impact all the sectors, agriculture, education, health. Me as a chairman, I would uh, urge all the ITU members uh, or ITU uh, family members, member state, uh, sector members, academia, to offer their support to ITU to achieve that goals. If that happened, then we will leave nobody behind. They are about, unfortunately, half of the world unconnected. And ICT can be the bridge for those to be part of the digital world that we are living in. And, uh, if, and uh, as I said, this is what we need to focus on with the support of all the member states uh, or the, let's say the uh, ITU family uh, members. There's currently considerable attention being placed on harnessing the power of technology as an enabler for good. What's your perspective on this? We're living in a world that is rapidly changing. Things getting disruptive. And uh, the future, the way how we see it, it's, uh, there's uncertainty. Where are we heading? Take, for example, uh, the AI. What's going to bring? We lose our jobs, for example. But on the other hand, of what we've been experiencing, technology is bringing ideas, innovation, ease of life. And that's what we really need to focus on. The equation is you need to bring ICT and we are responsible for the ICT. ICT could play a big role in building the capacity of ourselves to prepare us for the future. And uh, honestly, what we are uh, doing here in the uh, Plenty Potentiary is being watched all over the world. They're waiting. What's going to be the output? Will it really help preparing uh, the world for what's coming? And uh, we have to live up to those expectations. And I'm sure ICT will always be the right tool or enabler for success. How do you think that key stakeholders, governments, industry and civil society can engage and make strides in advancing from standards and policies to implementations, for example, smart cities? 
technology is there. Who made those services? Is it the government? Is it the people? It's the private sector. There is something called PPP, Public-Private Partnership. It's been there for a while. But with the, with the new technology, with the social media, now we have a new player that we cannot ignore. Those are the people. And they have to be included. The e-participation. Their input, their voice cannot be ignored. And their input can really enhance the product, the services being offered. And this completes the circle of public, private, people partnership. If that happened, then everyone is pleased. The product gets uh, enhanced and people will be happy because they are part of the uh, decision, part of the solution. And again, who are the delegates who are coming uh, to this conference? They represent governments. And what are the government? It's made of people. So they represent the voice of the people. And this is what closed the circle in our uh, platform. With this, we are leaving no one behind. And that's all about inclusiveness. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for joining us in the studio today and for these valuable insights. And hopefully we will catch up with you again at some stage in the future. Thank you very much. So, Ms. thank you. Thank you.